I, I, I. What is going on, guys? It is your boy, Chelsea J. Barry, and I'm back with another video to talk. I. So, yeah, we're making our breakfast right now. We are starting with a shake. We're making a shake, and yeah, we're also making noodles. Noodles. Kellogg's noodles. So, yeah. I've just you know, finished warming them up Then yeah Also making the shake god damn it <laughs> oh. So now it's currently 8.49, 7.49 I mean 7.49 and yeah This is our first meal of the day First meal of the day, although There is noodles and shake And a shake I count them as one meal Because I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have another shake in the evening So yeah I might as well So yeah, today Oh, Merry Christmas! Eh, eh, eh. Merry Christmas! Today is Christmas Day, 25th of December. And guess what? Doing a vlog. We are doing a vlog. I'm looking for my. for that little packet of noodles. That thing that comes with noodles. The spice. I cannot see it anywhere. Oh, oh, found it. Found it. So yeah, today, today is gonna be a good day. Gonna be a good, good day, and yeah, the meals I'm currently eating right now. The goal of eating them it is to get. It is to gain weight, actually. Yeah, it is to gain weight. And gaining weight comes with being uncomfortable. The reason being that when you gain weight, in my perspective, or in my... Let, I'm using myself as an example. I, I think I'm around 15%, 15 to 10% of body fat. Yeah, I think I'm around there. And when I gain weight, I will lose my abs. And I will lose the definition of my muscles. I will lose the striations and everything. Because if I gain weight and I want to build muscle, I have to raise my body fat levels. I'll lose my abs. Plus the striations and everything. The striations, I will lose them. And yeah, that is why most people are afraid of bulking. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm one of those people. I'm guilty of being afraid to lose abs, being afraid to grow actually. Because this thing of lean bulk, yes, you can do a lean bulk, but my body type. As I was saying before I got interrupted, I was talking about lean bulk. Lean bulk. So yeah, lean bulk is essentially bulking. You know, eating high volume of food or eating high calories, but with less fat. You know, eating high calories with less fat. Yeah, I, I hope it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, that is lean bulk. There's lean bulk and dirty bulk. Dirty bulk is eating, consuming foods with high calories, high fat, you know what I'm saying, high nutrients, high protein and everything like that. But most importantly, high carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are very, very important when bulking. So yeah, carbohydrates are essentially glucose. Glucose, which is C6H12O6. Yeah, glucose. Carbohydrates are glucose. And 
as you all know that if you consume more in an excess carbohydrates right, which are glucose the insulin will be secreted and insulin which is a hormone secreted in the pancreas insulin will convert excess glucose into glycogen and glycogen it will be stored in your muscles and when the more glycogen stored in your muscles the more full they will be they will be full and they will be bulging that is why you notice when people are bulking when people bulk they they get full and everything like that they get full and yeah they look more aesthetic and more huge so yeah that is what you, you should understand about carbohydrates because without carbohydrates you might gain muscle but not at the rate at which you will gain when doing carbohydrates so yeah there will be a big there is a, there will be a big difference so yeah that is why you notice when people you know when people drink their pre workouts you know the post workout i mean the post workout uh, after waking out man people drink carbohydrates shakes with carbohydrates they consume carbohydrates you know right after waking out because when you wake out blood gets into your muscle which is a pump a pump is when blood enters your muscle and yeah when you finish working out you drink or you see people these bodybuilders drinking shakes with carbohydrates the reason being that since i have told you carbohydrates have glucose are glucose uh, yeah carbohydrates are glucose so yeah the glucose would be the excess glucose would be converted into glycogen due to the secretion of insulin and the glycogen will be stored into your muscles since there will be blood blood transports nutrients so glycogen will be easily transported to your you know, to your muscles easy since there is blood in your muscles so yeah that is what i wanted you to understand about glycogen glycogen and carbohydrates and so yeah something yeah those things get what i'm saying so yeah you should consume enough carbohydrates carbohydrates are very very important so yeah insulin sensitivity insulin sensitivity insulin you are testing yourself insulin 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 is a hormone that stimulates the conversion of excess glucose to glycogen and glycogen is stored in your muscles to make your muscles full and bulging so this is what happens if you don't work out maybe for like a week or something like that you hear people saying that i oh, know i lost muscle i lost weight i lost in this world yada 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 yad. no you didn't lose muscle you just lost the fullness you just lost the glycogen you know what i'm saying you lost the glycogen and yeah if you lose glycogen your muscles will be will, will lose the fullness you look small as than usual you, you look smaller than usual so yeah if you notice that no when you wake up you know you've lost fullness and everything like that or you work out consistently and you, you eat a high protein diet with low carbohydrates and you notice that your body is not as full so you should you know, increase your carbohydrates intake and your calories because the more calories you you consume the more weight you gain calories are plus and there's one thing i want to correct one thing i've been doing on wrong all wrong this past years is and i'm thinking that i'm putting myself into thinking that i'm eating enough calories i'm eating a calorie surplus because i've been complaining not complaining actually i've been complimenting myself for 
eating a high volume of food eating a lot of food a high volume of food no? and not gaining weight I, I was like yeah i'm a big eater i eat a lot of food and i don't lose weight my abs are still visible yet i was wrong i was i was right in a in a in a, in a sense but no bodybuilding wise calorie bulking wise i was not because i was eating a high, high volume of food with less with less calories and those foods led to me not losing weight and not gaining weight i was maintaining my physique actually because the foods were not they were they were, they were not calorie dense they did not allow me to reach my calorie goal which is surplus mm. which is surplus so yeah That's what you should understand about calorie, about nah, carbohydrates and then bulk. So yeah, it's time to eat our meal, goddamn. It's time to eat our breakfast. Mm, this balloon is slapping. Now it is currently one one fifty nine. Total. See, I'm having some carbohydrates. He makes everything. Yeah. Protein and everything. So yeah. So he's the one that made it. What I do, what I need to do. Let's eat. And they he make it like it's a national rush. Yeah. Wow. Like you rush all the time. It's very nice. It's very nice. Are you feeling well? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happening at the venue? There's trees. There's a row of trees mm -hmm. on both sides. Oh, so, so that will be more of a natural shape.